So the other camera I was using to try to explain our situation ran out of juice and we can't afford to power it until tomorrow when I use our last 20 bucks to get a youth hostel room which will have power. We'll be bunked in with a bunch of people but we'll have access to power. I'll be able to recharge all of our cameras, empty them all into the hard drive, and that's what we're spending the rest of our money on. We're not rich people on a rich person's vacation. We're a couple of poor guys living a dream. And you don't have to be rich to live a dream. You just have to have the courage to go after it. And if we can make it to the Rio Dolce and up the river to the lake. Thanks to Captain Sexsmith of the SV Cochina. 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 Taxi service to K Calker. February 28th, 2011. The adventures. Hi. Are you George? Yeah, I am. George, my name's Willie. I've got a friend named Bridget Ann. All right, great. How did you meet uh, Bridget Ann? Um, Bridget Ann Grove. Well, I'd known about her because um, one of the churches that support me is uh, her church, First Congregational Church, the church I grew up in. Okay, and and you're from Michigan. Yeah. And how did you find yourself coming here? I came here, I saw the need. You know, to have an English-speaking ministry here for all the people who don't speak Spanish here. That was 13 years ago. We were entering into a new time when God is teaching people to live more by faith and less by formulas of the past. Oh, that things that, yeah, things that used to work in the past are not going to work anymore. They're shedding this fear about uh, restrictions and, and, in my mind, certain bad power dynamics taking and violence and sharing it, lots of love and being really open and compassionate and trying to live off that inspiration and, and going for that and when you said that it is like a lot of people are seized by fear at, at these times because of all the changes going on it's making the future seem insecure because they have so many plans based on their money and their means yeah but, and uh, that they need swept. examples of people who are oh, just willing to Leave it all, just like the disciples did with Jesus, and you see know, what happens. They got real joy. They left everything and followed him, and that's a kind of life which is not really familiar to, to most Americans. So, it's a little scary to, too. to many people. Yeah, you go into the void. testimony. So, so you're looking for, you're, you're hoping for some um, someone to to help you. Well, actually, we just need a teacher to. A teacher team. Yeah. Is there a website that you have that if people are interested in finding more about what you're doing, if they want to get involved with, with, with anything, help in any way? www.treeoflifebelize.com Thank you so much, Bridget and Grove, for introducing us to George at the Tree of Life Mysteries. He was so kind to give us a room to stay at, a spare room that we were able to use to sleep and regather, recharge our batteries, literally for our cameras, and the miracle, the internet, and our connections, and all of our friends back home, all the help we've been blessed with. Thank you so much.